Hey everyone, my name's Adam Archer, and today we're going to be taking a look at the stuff that I purchased at Blade Show 2017. So it's only been a month since Blade Show, so I think it's a perfectly reasonable amount of time before I make this video. I actually did film it last weekend, however, wasn't happy with the quality of the video. So I'm redoing it. I also have some footage of Blade Show that I filmed. I may add some to the end of this video, or I'm I'm going to also be uploading their own videos. I was learning how to use this camera. The lighting was absolutely horrendous. Um, or uh, my setting up my lighting was absolutely horrendous, at least on this camera. So uh, you'll get some high quality footage there. Anyways, so as you can see, I picked up quite a few things. I did win one lottery, which was the Emerson lottery. So I'll actually show that probably last. Um, so let's just push this off to the side and I'll show things one by one. So let's take a look at what I purchased the first day, which was actually the first day of Blade Show Friday, was just two Microtechs, and these were the Blade Show specials. So each year, Microtech has where you can purchase a Microtech Ultratech for only... Uh, when I first started going to Blade Show about five, six years ago, they were $100, and now they've gone up to $125, which if you know anything about Microtech Ultratechs, that is still a fantastic deal. One thing I noticed when taking both of these out of their boxes is there is a variation between the models they had this year. I'm about 90% sure that what Microtech does is they take a model that they have a lot of extra parts from, and just assemble them and then sell them at Blade Show with the Blade Show logo. As you can see, these two knives, both say Blade Show 2017, but are actually different. You can see this one has the flat handle, kind of the order style with the order style screws, and this one has a contoured handle with kind of the triangle screws. They do have the same buttons, the same glass breaker, same pocket clip, as well as the same blade and uses L-Max blade steel. So these are bayonet grinds. Let's make sure you guys can see that. Do you use the bayonet grind? No writing on the back. Let's make sure that's in focus. Sometimes I'll film using this camera and things will be completely out of focus the entire video, which we do not want that, do we? Okay. And one of the nice things about these Ultra Techs, they are very easy to open. I know about, I have uh, 2012, 2013, 2014. Those years, uh, the Blade Show specials, were rather difficult to open and close, so I wasn't too happy about that. Um, but I always purchase two of the Blade Show specials because that's the maximum they will allow. Away. Okay, so got the two Ultra Techs. So on day two, I visited a knife dealer that's at almost every single show I attend, um, whether that's here in Kentucky or a show in Ohio, a Blade Show, I see him just about everywhere. And I picked up some awesome pieces. So let's take a look at these um, Dalton California Special Militias. So as you can see, let's get that off frame. So as you can see, they are very small, one in gold, one in blue. They have that regular Dalton pocket clip, full size, and these things shoot out like rockets. It's one of the things I love about his small California special knives. So listen to this. Just super fast. This one has a picture of a tiger on it, none of his parachute logo, but does says, DCC for Dalton Combat Cutlery on the back here. And one of the things you'll notice about this particular one, it almost looks like it has a ground um, swedge. And it it looks like he almost ground it to an edge, but it's not actually sharpened completely. Um, I don't know if it was meant to be sharpened completely, but you can see just slight where it still has the flatness. 
Uh, that would be very easy to sharpen to a full edge though. Not wanting to focus correctly. Oh well. Uh, next we have the Blue Dalton Militia. Very snappy as well. And this has a picture of a lady on it. As you can see there. Very cool as well. Okay, next we have a very cool, or another Dalton. And this one's cool because it still has the wrapper that the Daltons, or a lot of Rob Dalton knives originally came in. And this is the blade, it's strange, it's showing in reverse, I guess. Huh, uh, Blade Show 2008 on the handle. And let's open this up. This has a special way of opening. It's not like a button auto or something like that. You actually push the meat of your hand into here to kind of lever the knife and it opens up. Not a huge spring on this one, but it's extremely ergonomic. You have the Dalton name on there, no parachute logo, but just a very comfortable Dalton knife. Okay, and the last thing I purchased from him was a Mora pin knife. This is a knife that if a company currently produces it, I'm going to try to find it. So if you know of one, please let me know. So it is a absolutely tiny little Mora. Sub three inch blade. Awesome little handle. I'm gonna make a video just on this knife, just so you guys can see how awesome it is. It did come with this sheath. This is not the original sheath for the knife, uh, but it works perfectly. Just slides right in there. Then it has this little clip. And I actually clipped that onto my um, Blade Show Pass, so it was just kind of dangling on my chest. So very cool, love this. This is probably one of my favorite things I actually bought at Blade Show, but was one of the cheapest. I think I paid 30 bucks for this. Probably was more than they normally cost, but I really like the knife, made me happy, so that's why I got it. Next, I purchased some knives from South African makers. We have one from, um, African Custom Knives. So I bought this from a actual retailer. They were having a sale. And this is a knife by J uh, JD Van Deventer. You can see that on the box. And this is the EDC Frame Lock. I had seen this the first day and I told myself if I could figure out how to open it with one hand, I would be purchasing it and that's because it has the front flipper right there. And I just could not get it open like that. So I was able to figure it out, so I purchased it. They had these on sale for $250 for a custom knife, which is pretty awesome. You have G10 scales, titanium frame lock. It is a tip down carry, not really a fan of tip down. And then N690 blade steel, which is <coughs> the usual for South African knife makers. They are experts with N690. So you have mirror flats, kind of a bead blasted stone washed finish on the grind. There we go. You can also open it slowly. Just have to open it like that. I do definitely like just regular flippers much better, but I think it, it is very cool. You can get some awesome knives, um, especially from South African makers. They're relatively inexpensive right now compared to US makers, but they make some fantastic stuff. A lot of them have no waiting list currently. You can get a knife custom made for you in just a couple weeks, although getting it to the United States is the difficult part. 
Next is this little frame or little um, pocket knife by Arno Bernard. I'm not sure how custom this really is. I think the handles were probably machine made and it was probably hand ground. So I call it somewhere as a mid tech, but this is also from a South African knife maker. You have titanium handle scales with a carbon fiber insert and that's on both sides. Tip down right hand carry pocket clip. You can open that up and they actually are using an S35, uh, yeah, S35 VN blade steel. Nice hollow grind, very thin edge. You can see S35 on the back here. Let's... There you go. You can kind of see it this way without it blinding the camera. I have to adjust this camera so that it's at the right angle so it doesn't get blinded each time. And this is a button lock. Next, I got a dog tag survival knife, as well as a lo another little knife from Attack Rescue Survive. This is actually was given to me. Um, I'm going to give it away on here in a, some type of giveaway. I haven't decided how, um, but first I'm going to show testing it, using it, and all that. I've been pretty happy with it. It has like a ferro rod, the little dog tag with a knife, and a little button compass. I've really liked it, um, tested very well. So I'll show that and there we go. Uh, next we have a custom by Jason Clark and this is the, what's the model name? Quaken. It's probably the smoothest knife I've ever owned. So it has titanium frame lock with a black and titanium pocket clip. Take a look at how smooth this is. Uses Glock Damascus. And watch this. Just buttery smooth. Closes very easily. Uh, doesn't have much of a detent, but enough that you can't shake it out. But when you open it up, fires like a rocket. Uses IKBS and very unique kind of handle and blade shape where kind of when you're holding it, the blade is more pointed downwards. So I like it. Got this actually at the last day of the blade show. And last, but definitely not least, was the lottery knife that I won. So I got the, or I won the Emerson lottery early enough to where I could get a good knife, like where all the ballast songs were still there, the axes were there, um, the, but late enough where the CQC6s were already all taken. So let me think, let me know if I did a right choice and got this knife or if I should have gotten like the ballast songs that were, Every, every ballast song was still there. I got the custom CQC7 flipper. Right there. I thought this was an awesome looking knife and that's why I picked it. So anybody that knows Emerson knows about the CQC7, but this one actually has the flipper on it uses, I believe, IQ, I, eh, some type of bearings, probably not IKBS, and has a um, zero grind on it. Absolutely beautiful blade. Oh. Stay in focus. There we go. Chisel ground. Uses canvas micarta. Just absolutely beautiful.
and of course can be opened using a thumb stud, the wave, the flipper. Tons of different ways you can open this knife. Absolutely beautiful. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and that is all the knives that I purchased or got at Blade Show 2017. Videos of Blade Show will be coming out soon, so let me know. Uh, I don't know what I want you guys to let me know. I already said that a few times. Um, so yeah, have a great day. Thank you for watching.